Check Podcasts. Welcome to the Mike Check Podcast for TV. This is our favorite time of year. It is the end of the year, and we are looking back. Today, our picks for the 2022 Checky Awards for Best Restaurant in Greater Victoria. This is the second year we've handed out these highly coveted Checky Awards. We've asked some of our favorite guests from the past year to come into studio and help us. We're going to pick 20 spots, five spots from each of us that we think led the way in our region in terms of cuisine over the last year. We have Sharon Lamb. Our favorite digital artist, we had a great conversation with her earlier this year. You can go back and find it and listen wherever you get podcasts. We also have our buddy Vince from Island Chef Pepper Co., one of our favorite local hot sauces. They're joining us. They'll pick their five top restaurants for the year. Kyle and I will make our picks. And by the end of it, you will have 20 spots that we think stood out from the rest of the pack over the last year. So sit back, relax, get a pen and paper, get ready to take notes. This is our top 2022 Checky Award winners for Best Restaurant in the Region. My first pick uh, for Checky Restaurant of the Year is going to go to a place, I believe this is a place that we've covered in the last year, and I think that when I say the name, everyone will go, oh yeah, that's got to be on the list. They're the best of the best in their field, uh, and that is Benjo's Tacos. Yeah. Benjo's Tacos. Have you guys been there? No, have you been to Benjo's Tacos? Okay, Benjo's Tacos. Okay. All we've, right. we've mentioned it on the podcast before. I have yeah. not made it there yet, though, but it sounds incredible. Okay. Where are they? So, Benjo's Tacos is located on Craig Flower Road. So, Vic West, Esquimalt Border, if you're on Craig Flower, going over the Bay Street Bridge. And what they are is they are a taco shop within a convenience store. So, you, you don't even know they're there, really. They have a little sign up front. And they do a, a certain tile of taco, birria tacos, B-I-R-R-I-A. Yeah. Birria tacos. So that's the one where you get the little juice, and you take the taco, and they're folded up. They're dipped in, like, fat, and then you get to dip them in the little juice. They're just extremely good, and um, they're extremely popular. And there's a reason for that. They're just delicious. So because of the story, the fact that... This family behind it, they grew up down the street. Their convenience store always had sort of a shop inside it. Mm-hmm. They wanted to uh, serve tacos, birria-style tacos. They went and approached the owner. They got to sell their tacos in the convenience <laughs> store that they grew up going to. <laughs> like it. It's a wild story. Um, just everything about them, I love. And this past year was the year when Victoria really noticed them, when they stormed onto the scene. Yeah. And so that's why I think when we talk about 2022... They need to be on the list. So Benjo's Tacos is the first pick. I, I tell people just follow them on Instagram like a lot of people do because <laughs> the hours sometimes change. Like I know right now that I think they have some ki- sick kids at home and the family's battling with, uh, yes. you know, flu and that, whatever. Do it. Yep, so, sure. <laughs> so, you know, they're not working today, obviously, yep. as we record this. But follow them, them on Instagram. And if you like tacos, go try them out on Craig Flower Road. You can't miss it. It's the Craig Flower Convenience Store. I bet you sometime within the next year or two they'll have their own location. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. They're that good. All right. Kyle, you're up next. Over to me. First pick. Uh, I have been waiting to talk about this place for a long time. Uh, we've never mentioned it, but I went there uh, with my wife, Rachel. Uh, Wild Mountain out in Souk. Have you guys been there? Wild Mountain? No. I don't think I've been there. Oh, my gosh. I had never heard of it either, but Rachel's like, I booked this place out in Souk. Uh, it is incredible. It's at 1831 Maple Avenue. It's right by Whiff and Spit. So if you're going to Whiff and Spit, yep. it's right before there. It's off to the left-hand side. It's basically an old house. Uh, a house for a local fishing family is what this place used to be, just a house. And they've converted it into this restaurant. And I think it opened uh, 2013. I don't have my, I don't have the year opened in my notes, but I was like, is this place new? Because I've never heard of it, but it's been there years. And think, imagine if you had a five-star chef aunt or uncle, someone in your family, and you would go to their house and they would just make you this incredible, delicious, amazing food, all locally sourced, all locally made. The plates and the bowls are all like handcrafted bowls from this place called, uh, which, what is it called? Wicked Wanda. So there's a, you flip it over and it's Wild Mountain stamped with Wicked Wanda. So like all ho- handmade pots and plates. The food was incredible. What'd they, you have? They built, so they, their menu changes every single day. It's always based on what's in harvest. But they built a pizza oven during COVID. So they've got this huge outdoor 
wood fire pizza oven that they've built in the past couple of years. And when I was there, I had a smoked roast beef pizza, blackberry, mastrata, pickled banana peppers, mozzarella, and tomato sauce. It was amazing. Okay. Smoked roast beef pizza? Yes. So like the, the slices of beef that you'd have in a roast beef sandwich yes. sprinkled all over the pie? Spread out on the pizza, yes. What was the base? Tomato? Tomato base, yep, and cheese and the banana peppers. Did oh, it come with uh, dipping sauce? No dipping sauce. Interesting. Um, not needed. Not needed. Yeah, not, not needed. needed. Okay. <laughs> not need, this pizza doesn't need it. But uh, I checked the menu, and that's not currently on the menu, So, but like lots of other things, constantly rotating good food. Kyle, it's just incredible. What a fantastic first pick, Kyle. Uh, <laughs> I tend to not lean in towards the, uh, the fancy dining establishments, and I think that's what – uh, I like this place so much because it was just approachable. It's right there. You can look out over the over the spit and see the mountains in the background. And you're just like at somebody's house, it feels like. It's very cozy and comfortable. Highly recommend. Wild Mountain, you are getting a Checky Award. <laughs> exactly. That is huge. Which exactly. you don't actually get anything, just props on this podcast. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Well done, Wild Mountain. Okay, Sharon, your first pick. All right. Well, um, I couldn't leave out Township Coffee. <laughs> of all of the places I go to in a year, I go to Township every second or third day. You um, know what's funny is I almost took them first because I knew you were going to take them, <laughs> but I didn't want to be such a jerk about it. Because, <laughs> so anyway, yeah, go ahead. That, what a great coffee shop. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, Eric started it. They just celebrated their 10-year anniversary on Sunday. Um, they are open nine to three every day, closed on Mondays. Mm -hmm. My personal favorite is they have this lemon blueberry muffin that has like a cornmeal topping. Oh, the yeah. best thing like ever. My brother likes the um, sausage roll. I also like the ham and cheese scone. They make everything fresh. They have yep. a baker that comes in at like 5 a.m. every day. Yeah. Oh, and there's a guy right now who grows his own peppers and makes his own hot sauce. And Eric is selling it for him, too. I saw and that. That is very good. Yeah. I saw that. It's also... but. Nothing on it's, Island. It's, it's not okay. Island Chef Pepper. Okay. <laughs> Sharon, There's another hot Sharon, sauce in our lives. The hot sauce guy's right beside <laughs> you. I, I'm going to say this right now. If you are passionate about making hot sauce, growing chilies, come in. Join, join the party. I'm, hap I'm happy to have you. Uh, Township Coffee Co. was on my list. Uh, I went to them this year for the first time. I try to go back whenever I'm in the area. I can't say enough good things about the people there. I know that they help, helped you on your, your, your artist's journey. When I went in this past weekend, it's the display of your art is fantastic. I 64 prints onto the wall. 64 prints, Kyle, oh hanging gosh. on the wall inside the coffee <laughs> I got to get in there. I drive by it fairly often, but I've never they're been just, in there. They're just good people. The type of place where you, know, you go and you order an Americano and you're standing by the bar – and he'll say, hey, do you want to, like, try a bit of your the espresso, like, just in a little shot? You know, just <laughs> yeah. to mix it up a little bit? Right. And you go, yeah, that sounds like a great experience. I'll do that. And then he goes, okay, in your Americano, I'll just lay off the espresso because they're going to give you a little bit here. You right, know? a little bit but, of an extra jolt. But thing. taste the flavor. And it's just a – they're so passionate about – coffee the way you guys talk about it, it sounds more like an experience like you go yep. in there for the community <laughs> more than just like just a cup of coffee kind yep. of thing it's awesome so township coffee co is uh, off the board and congratulations to them yeah for getting a check you award <laughs> all right vince you're up my man so i'm really glad at how this list is kind of going because it seems that we're all following the same pattern on my list i picked places with heart Okay. Right, so the so my number one draft pick is actually Category Twelve Brewing. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Because they have uh, a very underrated kitchen, uh, really great food. Um, they make uh, great sausages. Uh, their pork belly sandwich is just unbelievable. Um, they have a very young chef in there, very talented uh, chef Chris Compton. Mm -hmm. And then you pair it with this amazing beer. And who better to make beer than a man who has a PhD in microbiology? <laughs> um, they they craft their own yeasts. They they are constantly playing around. Um, my me myself, I was never one into beer, and then I I, I found Category Twelve Brewing like an oasis in the desert, um, and they just changed my entire perspective on on drinking and tasting beer because I'm like, oh, this is this is amazing, and that is why. Uh, Category 12 Brewing is my number one draft pick this year. I just have this image of you going, what is it, Central Saanich Road? Yeah. You're just parched and falling over walking down the street. <laughs> and you see in the distance Category 12. 
Uh, um, Ka- Kyle, you're a big Category 12 guy, aren't I you? I love Category yeah. 12. They're big Belgian beers. Like They're yeah. just very tasty, very good ingredients. I like their branding a lot. They've got lots of colorful branding and stuff. And the inside in there, their tasting room, it used to just be the tasting room, and then they blew it out and opened up that whole side kitchen and stuff. I haven't been there in a while. but So definitely go back, and I will say something about their branding. The the owner, the uh, Michael Kuzik. Michael and Carrie. Um, he does all of their branding. He does all their graphics designing. He does all of the, the package placement, everything. He's, yeah. he's a very talented man. Uh, Michael and Karen are, are great uh, people, um, and they're the owners that, are, you know, I love to support people like that. And that's kind of – you'll notice my theme on my list is uh, going to be establishments like that. Love it. All right, Category 12, congratulations on the checky. Yeah. Your second pick. Which leads me into my second round pick, uh, Swans. Love it. <laughs> Big Swans guy. Yeah. Love it. So um, Swans is uh, an amazing establishment. I yep. mean, it's got years of history. Uh, their chef, Bob. Uh, Bob is a very talented uh, chef. He does a, a lot of um, innovative cooking, probably some of the best scotch eggs in town. D- have we talked about this? No. Have we talked about this? No. Give me, give me some <laughs> skin. Give me a high five. I tell everyone about the scotch eggs. They're the best in town. Yeah. So They are the best in town. Um, and the, the owner, uh, Mike, also... Also, fantastic man. Great guy. Um, and, you know, they, they do wonderful things for the community. And I, you know, as a, a chef in Victoria, you know, I have sort of a different view going to restaurants um, and the people and sort of the community. And I think that uh, Bob and Mike at Swans um, are sort of like an epitome of what it's like to be a positive uh, impact into the culture there. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can even see that because, you know, Bob takes people – from like high school to come into his kitchen and he trains them up and then they stay yeah um and they learn and uh and i think he's a very talented man and that's why they're my number two pick and with scott bison working the front of the house too as a third guy i just want to <laughs> yeah, mention too friend of the show yeah no they just <laughs> w- they when they did their renovation at swans a while back and they kind of made it a bit more modern inside and they freshened it up a bit ever since then they've been knocking it out of the park mm-hmm. and and when people come to Victoria and they go, I want to go and have a good pub experience, like a local pub experience, there are some, you know, really good pubs that people go to. People like to go to the Bard and Bank, or especially this time of year because yep. it's very Christmassy and yep. festive, and that's great. But I'm trying to tell people, like, go to Swans. There's so much history on that corner in the, in that room, and the food is delicious. I talk about the pizza a lot, yep. the big uh, pan pizza. You can't get pan pizza that comes out in, in a, a pan. in a pan in a dish like that. <laughs> I don't know if you can get it anywhere. You, you can get it there. Yeah, it's no, great. Yeah. Swan's great. Great place. <coughs> great pick. Thank you. Vince, Thank well you. done. Yeah. This is congratulations, Swans. Yeah, you got yourself a check. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you I get a check. You, you get, you a, get checkie. a checkie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, Swans off the board. Sharon, over to you for your second pick. Awesome. Uh, my second pick is Alyssa's Fa and Bon Me on Quadra Street. Have you yes. ever been there? I, yes. I have, I have not. Yes. There and you know like what? I just unplugged my headset here. So let me. <laughs> there we go. Just in <laughs> excitement. So excited. In excitement. I, uh, yeah, I've been there and it's awesome. The sandwiches, delicious. Go ahead. Um, I do a lot of like um, craft fairs and art markets. And after like a long day, my dad and I, we always go there and have a big bowl of pho. I like to get the 23 regular, which is their special, has a bit of everything. Get an iced coffee with condensed milk. Um, And honestly, I think this place has the best service in the city. I went there with my brother like two weeks ago. Um, he loves to eat spicy, so his nose yeah. is running. He's blowing his nose with his <laughs> napkin. Before he even sets that back on the table, the server's there with a fresh one. Gives him, like, really? one just, like, sneaks it in there, and we're like, oh, my God, like, how closely are you watching us? <laughs> one server for, like, probably, like, ten groups in in the dining room at that time, like, wow. with, like, takeout orders and everything. Like, I was just blown away. Hey, for pho, is mm-hmm. that your go-to pho place? Yes, I would it say is, so, eh? yeah. I, I have a couple, <laughs> but, like, that that one we really like. I don't know what it is about the sandwiches there. I think it's the bread. You know, I call them kind of, like, rockets because they're mm-hmm. really long and narrow. <laughs> um, simple. You're like, they don't overdo it with um, what's in it, but they're very good. I've taken you for one of those, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty close here. So I would ride, ride over in Quadra, so I walk over there quite frequently and get the barbecue pork one. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what number it is, but, yeah, that's a, that's a staple in my routine. I love that you picked the list. Now, I, I should just rewind a little bit. Do you want to, when we make the final board and we present this to the masses <laughs> on social media, do you want us to put that you like dish number 20? 
23 regular 23. and the iced coffees of 17. I did my research. So, do for you this. want us to put Alyssa's Bomb Me number 23 with an iced coffee? Or oh, do if you Kyle just. Kyle doesn't mind doing the editing for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And Kyle's like, yeah, no, no. Yeah, he does. That's, He's like, oh, Jesus. The more details, the better. Sure. <laughs> no, that's perfect. We could do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me write this down. Number 23 with I an iced coffee. Me the sheet after okay, too. that would be good. That would be good. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, Quadra Village, I've said it before. I'll say it again. They are you know, punching above their weight yeah. in terms of restaurants and places to eat. Totally. There's a shawarma. Uh, not a shawarma. Is it a shawarma place? There's a place i got to check out. It used to be where it's over by the old theater. You know what I'm talking about over there? Uh, by the convenience on store? The, on the theater side? Yeah, there's a new shawarma place. Oh, I haven't there. been there. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Kyle, over to you. Over to me. I would be remiss if I did not mention my favorite place in the city. Oh. It's going to be. It's gonna be big wheel. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it's it's not. It's all okay. Okay, it's not big wheel. Okay, that is on my list, but later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, th- th- this is the place that I go to quite often uh, for lunches, and when people are in town, it's the place that I always like to take them. Uh, roast in the Victoria Public Market. Um, Marianne in there, she's running that place, and she's also got the La Pasta next door and the taco stand Alpa store down the way, but all in that public market. I just love that place so much. The atmosphere in the public market is amazing. And if you have a group of people and you want a crowd-pleasing lunch and you're looking for somewhere to go, just go into the public market. And I always say, you can get whatever you want, but I'm going to go to roast, and I'm going to get the porchetta sandwich because it's incredible. Uh, And that's where I find myself most often. They do a lot of specials. They've got a chicken parm sandwich that's on rotation that I've just been longingly staring at on Instagram for a long time and I've never made it in for one. But um, yeah, the the porchetta, the pork belly wrapped around a loin, rolled with herbs and spices, covered in pig skin, roasted until the juices are dripping and the skin is all caramelized. Put that in a sandwich with some uh, some veggies and some green sauce and oh my gosh, so good, love yeah, it. That whole that whole roast group is is uh, top notch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do a really good job, and I'm glad that you mentioned La Pasta, too, because um, the pizza that they sell at La Pasta, the thicker style, big squares, yeah. you can't get those too many places. Yeah. They're doing it right there, so very good pick with roast. Well done. I had to pull up my phone there as you were talking just because I've got two picks here, and as we get into this... <laughs> you want to make sure you're prepared. <laughs> well, for I just want to make sure that we don't forget anyone here, so... All right. I am going to... I'm going to pick an ice cream shop. Ooh. Oh, I have some ice cream shops on my list. Let's I see. think that in the 2022 Checky Award list, we have to have uh, 49 Below. Oh, they're on my list. Because they opened up their shop this year, the first brick-and-mortar location. Yep. Uh, that is a big deal. And I think that uh, Oak Bay now, they've been open for a few months. I'm sure that everybody in Oak Bay has been there. They love what Dan, Jason, and Amy have created. They do a lot for the community. They're always willing to give back. I love the ice cream. Uh, it is... As of right now, it's my favorite ice cream yeah. in the city. There's a lot of good ice cream out there. Um, you know, do you have a favorite flavor right now on the go? They do uh, so many different flavors and rotations and stuff. But do you have which a are the ones that we usually have? We usually have the honeycomb one. Yeah, that's in the house sometimes. Yeah, the Vietnamese one. The Vietnamese the, coffee one. Yeah, yeah that yeah. one. I really like that. Uh, that might be my favorite. <laughs> That one. Uh, do they do the Cheeto ice cream? There they as do well? the Hawkins yeah. Cheetos ice cream. They've done that, so they're really creative with what they do. We love to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> and so actually, and they're always willing to collaborate too. You know, if the, I'm sure there's a hot sauce, something. hot sauce ice cream out there. Hot there? sauce something. You know, I will say 49 below. If you want to collab, I'm happy to because every single sort of like spicy ice cream I've tried, it's yeah. just cayenne pepper added to it, and cayenne pepper doesn't add flavor to anything. So uh, you know, I'm down. I, I love spicy ice. We could have a collaboration. Mike yeah, Chen collaboration. they do. Um, they do this thing where you can like create a flavor, and the money goes to a good cause. Just another reason why 49 Below <laughs> deserves a checky. So well done yeah. to the team, uh, Daniel, Amy, and Jason at 49 Below. All right, that was my second pick. I'm kicking off the third round. Uh, <clears throat> we have talked about ramen uh, a fair bit on this Ooh. podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, we uh, are big fans of the folks down at Ghost Ramen and Jason Chan and everything his team's done at Ghost Ramen in the village. Yep. Um, Jason uh, 
is just a wonderful guy for the community and for acknowledging uh, good restaurants and good food. And so I don't think he's going to have any problem with me saying this. I think in the years past, we've actually maybe given Jason a checkie. But I'm going to pick a new ramen place this year. Okay. And that is Ramen Arashi. Ooh. Is a place I'm going to pick. Um, I was surprised when I went to this place. It's on Burnside Road. So if you're going down Douglas, leaving Victoria... You take a left on Burnside. You know where the Timmy's is? It's like the worst parking lot in the city. It's the two-floor parking lot with yeah. Timmy's. That's, I think it's the fastest Timmy's in the city. Though. Those guys are speed. Yeah, but if you look at the drive through <laughs> it goes just all the, yeah, the entire side is just dinged up because cars have scraped it. <laughs> yeah. Like every part of it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Ramen Arashi's right there. And I was seriously um, blown away at how many people were there when I went. I went on like a Wednesday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and there was a lineup. I picked up food the other day on my way home. Lineup. Uh, they've only been open for a year. Uh, it's a year this December. The guy who started it, um, he used to be in the hotel industry. Worked at the Fairmont Empress, a few other hotels. COVID hit. It just decimated the tourism industry. He lost his job. He ended up opening up Ramen Arashi, which is a, a ramen business that started in Banff and him and his wife went to go see the owners they were friends they said do you want to open one in Victoria he said okay and they have been uh, slammed ever since the reviews are great I'm not a big ramen guy but uh, I think they need to be on the list just for again I keep going back to 2022 what have you done this year Mm -hmm. and that's why I'm putting ramen arashi on the list but I I do want to also give ghost ramen a shout out too because uh, Jason's great and his whole team's great, great and Ghost Ramen's doing some really cool stuff but um, we're going to put Ramen Arashi on the list in the third spot again for the accomplishments this year what a what a great year out of the gates so, love it that's my third pick I gotta say also like they are like one of my favorite places to bring my friends that are vegetarian to oh there's really there's nowhere to get like vegetarian ramen really but mm. they do a really good flavorful broth mm. they also have uh, you know I think Japanese beer as oh, well. Yeah. Like they really lean into it and they have um some of it's served warm, is it not, Sharon? Um, um the, oh, sake, the sake. The sake, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure about they, that. They I do, do it. the like chicken karage and beer is a good combo there. For sure. Yeah. And that's what I picked up when I went home. I got <laughs> two things of chicken karage on rice. It was very good. Did so. they make it home or uh, was that a car uh, no they did make it home but I sat in the lobby and had a pint of Sapporo or whatever as I was waiting for it, which is Great. It was a great Friday. So, okay. Uh, that's my third pick. Kyle, over to you for your third pick. Okay. My pick, number three. Um, I don't know if we've ever talked about this place either, but I know you've done an order up on them. Uh, Boomtown Burritos and Beer uh, down there in Harris Green, nine, what is it, 950 Yates Street. This place is unreal like what they have done to that area they've built that big patio the big wooden patio they've got heaters out there now and they just opened up their grand opening it's like a greenhouse tent they have put over this thing it's humongous it's like a big structure in and of itself so it's like all clear so you can still see the sky you can still see out but you can sit out on this patio and have these delicious burritos and uh joe you talked about it earlier the the barilla barilla Berea tacos. Berea tacos. They've got the Berea burritos. Um, so if you, you know how sometimes you get a burrito and you just bite into it and all the wetness just kind of falls out of the bottom mm-hmm. of it. Has that ever happened to you? Friends, go to <laughs> Boomtown YYJ because they've got a little side cup of the Berea sauce and you can just pour or dip whatever you like and it's just so good. I really, really Sh- like it. Shut out their social media game too because they're quite good on social media. <laughs> I was going to say Boomtown YYJ, I think their orange bathroom is becoming a highlight in Victoria. Uh, Instagram lore because the, the the bathroom is very very tiny and I think they've made it a thing where people are posting selfies and like you know I, I always call it like a school bus mirror a big round mirror yeah. that's kind of concave or whatever so you yeah. can see the whole room they've got one of those in this tiny little orange bathroom and the, and people have been taking selfies in the mirror and it's it's become a thing so check them out Boomtown the, YYJ they took a shot at Kraft which and Kraft is great too but which I thought was quite funny the other day yeah so they don't go to Kraft come to the local spot it was I forget what the <laughs> meme was but it was, it was like the golf guys, and there's like a, a guy prim and proper standing there, and it says craft. And then yeah, it was like John Daly. Like, it was John Daly with a dart out of his mouth. Yeah. It was like just crazy neon out. pants. Yeah, that was it. Uh, okay. Yeah, they've done wonders. And as Harris Green continues to develop and we get more high rises down there, mm-hmm. Boomtown is just going to be. They're the OG. I mean, I can see from a decade from now. 
everyone's just going to continue to go there and it's going to be the spot in the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with the heaters and everything out there, we took we took some friends and all the kids out there and just like sat on this long table out there and the next to a heater. It was amazing. So. Moxie's is the OG, actually, if I think about it, in that neighborhood. <laughs> And there's a few other recipes. But <laughs> ben Forrest has been there for a while, but otherwise, but you, you know what I'm saying. Boomtown is yeah, Boomtown will be in the list for sure. Okay, Boomtown, great, another great pick. All these picks have been great. Sharon, over to you for your third. All right. Well, um, you brought up Ghost Ramen earlier on Jason, mm-hmm. and I'm going to bring up their other restaurant, uh, The Village in Torquay in Gordon Head. Love it. We love it there so much. I always get the eggs Benedict there. They do a uh, Red Barn Benny, which. Um, what's really special about their eggs benedicts is that they do it on like a latke, which is kind of like a potato pancake Mm -hmm. and they fry it so it's nice and crunchy and it doesn't sog up like a, like Like English muffin muffin. does usually. So if you're a slow eater and you want to chat with someone over brunch, it doesn't get soggy while you're talking, (laughs) which happens to me all the time. So (laughs) gotta say they are my favorite. I love the staff there. I always leave happy. It's like a little family and yeah, if you haven't been there, definitely go. Yeah, great call for the village. You can't go wrong. <laughs> great service, good food. They do it right. So nice picture. And, and so Amazing. Eggs Benedict, what's the pick? Uh, Red Barn Benny. Red Barn Benny. Yeah. Red Barn Benny. All right. I like that. All right. Vince, you got three and four. I got three. You got four. a big weight in that fourth spot. <laughs> yeah, I do. You yeah, got a big I weight, but then it's all you for two picks. Um, it's, I mean, it's good. Um, I there's no way that I could leave this out of my third pick. I you can find me, my son, and my father-in-law there every Wednesday for lunch. Uh, it is the Rose Pub in Callwood. <laughs> yeah. Um, we we go there. We go there every Wednesday. Uh, they're super friendly. The chef there is awesome in terms of the food he puts out, in terms of how he is for the community, and the education he provides his staff. He's also the co-owner of the restaurant. I think he has done amazing things for that location since uh, they they took over. Um, my and I mean it's probably the one of the best places in town to get wings, uh, spicy chicken sandwiches, and it's probably the best Caesar salad I've ever had. Whoa! Wow. Actually, eh? Yeah. What makes it so good? Um, uh, I really like they they do like deep fried capers with it. Okay. It's super tasty. Uh, re- they use red barn bacon. They're super super conscious about supporting uh, local and getting like really good ingredients and they mm-hmm. don't like they're not uh chintzy on anything yeah um it's it's uh it's a wonderful experience uh the service staff is, is amazing um they were like you know we were there one time they just immediately remembered our names our order who we are where we like to sit yeah um, and you can see my children's graf- graffiti and chalk on the side of the wall <laughs> when we go there. uh it's it's one of those great neighborhood pubs yeah. that is taking it a step farther for sure absolutely and in the summertime with the the backyard they have oh, there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. If you ever need a, a, a place to do a sort of a larger get-together, I highly recommend The Rose because they've got the space and they're happy to cater to, oh, yeah. to most people. And so, Thank you for watching. Uh, our list is not over. We have more picks to make. This time next week, come back, listen to the rest of the list. There's still many great spots to go. Thanks for watching. As always, you can listen to the Mike Check Podcast wherever you get podcasts or for free anytime on Check Plus. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.